Fake news. Fake news. Ever heard of it? Come on, everybody's heard of it. But is it real? Or is it fake? I'm here, sadly, to say I think it's real. I think there's a lot of confusion out there, and I think there's um, some news that is fabricated, some news that's exaggerated, some news that gets out there that's incomplete, just not the full story. I like to think that most of that that gets out there, mostly on social media, is not from what I would call legitimate news organizations like a newspaper. But nonetheless, it's there. But what, what is it that it's, that I like to think that newspapers are um, credible, have integrity in what they report, stick to the facts, that it's easier to cite examples of what is fake news than it is to define it. And I'm going to cite an example. And my example is that newspapers are dying. Or worse, newspapers are dead. I'm here to say that's fake news. But that's a narrative that's out there. And because it's fake, it's fake news because it is an incomplete story. Here's, here's a fact. Circulation of most daily newspapers in the United States is down. Not what it used to be. But that's not the full story. The full story is that newspapers are in transition. They've been in transition for a while, and I believe that they've turned a corner to where once, where newspapers were ink on paper and then had a website on the side, I would wager to say it's almost become the opposite to where we're a digital news organization and, oh, by the way, we still print a daily newspaper. I like to tell our reporters that it's, I've been in this business for 44 years, and you put me in the room with some other veteran journalists, and we will love to just talk about what we could call the glory days. I date back to the days when we were producing newspapers with typewriters, cameras that actually had film. Ever heard of that? That those were good days. These days, despite the naysayers, the chicken littles that say the sky is falling, I think are better. And I tell our young reporters that where we are right here, right now, years from now, these are going to be known as the glory days. Now why is that? Circulation's down. But guess what? On our digital platform, it is up. And it's not just up a little bit. It is way up. That the beauty of digital journalism is it's measurable. We measured our audience two months ago. We averaged more than 100,000 page views per day. That was a record for scnow.com. It broke a record from October of 2016 when we had Hurricane Matthew. And then the very next month, last month, that, well, October, that we broke the record we set in September. Um, 3.6 million total page views. You combine that audience with what we have in print, and there are far, far more eyeballs falling on our work than we ever used to have back in the days when we were just ink on paper. Now let's review a little history in journalism. The printing press was invented by Gutenberg back in the 1400s. And most people will say that the first newspapers came out in the 1600s. For over 300 years, newspapers 
except for town criers, pretty much had a monopoly on the news business. And in the 20th century, things started to change a little bit. Radio came along, 1920s. People said, well, that's going to kill newspapers. Guess what? It didn't. Television came along, 1940. People said, that's going to kill radio, and it's going to kill newspapers. And guess what? It didn't. Cable news came along around 1980 or so. People said, that's going to kill newspapers, and it didn't. The internet came along, World Wide Web, around the mid-1990s, and instead of killing newspapers, newspapers embraced it and are doing very well on that second platform. Social media came along after that. That's changed a lot, especially in regard to what we now hear as fake news. Let's talk about how media has changed a little bit. First of all, I don't really like that term, media. That if it's news, we could call it news media, but let's not confuse the two. But let's also not confuse media with the term journalism. And journalism is what newspapers practice. But cable news came along. Ted Turner brought CNN into the picture around 1980. A couple years later, started a sister network called Headline News Network. How many of you remember that? In the beginning, it was news. 30 minutes at a time, just the headlines from around the country, around the world. I'm not sure when it started to change. I'm not sure why it started to change. Probably it changed because producing news isn't cheap. And in television, they pay attention to ratings. And if it's a slow news day, the ratings aren't great. The powers that be decide we've got to do something different, and off cable news went in a different direction. And here we are today, and I'm disappointed to say that it's, I would refer to this as the, the dirty little four-letter word in the media right now. That's the S word, spin. That's what you get on cable news now. Forget the fact that they call themselves a news network, a news channel, that what you see by and large is just hosts and panelists sitting around exchanging opinions. Now, newspapers have opinions. They have an opinion page, and it's clearly marked an opinion page that we don't pretend that part of the newspaper is news. But the rest of the paper, unless you don't want to count comics, Dear Abby, classified advertising and the like, but the front page, the rest of the news pages, that's news. That's not spin. That's journalism. I'm proud of that journalism. And I'm proud of what journalism used to be. I'm proud of what journalism is. And I think there's a bright future for journalism, regardless of what the platforms are in technology. A lot of people have different descriptions of what journalism is. Some people say it's the pursuit of truth, and there's a lot of truth in that. Some people will say it's comforting the afflicted and afflicting the comfortable. And I think that's a pretty good description, too. But I'd like to close with citing my favorite T-shirt. Should have worn it today. But it's on the screen here. It's from the South Carolina Press Association, and I think it says it well. It says, we listen. We investigate. We verify. That's the biggie in journalism, in newspapers, in discerning between fake news and real news, is that we verify. 
then we report. And the bottom line, we stand up for you. Thank you.